Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler and Skynet's here. Artificial intelligence is here, so how can it help you study? That's the topic of today's video is using artificial intelligence to study. So what are some awesome applications for it? Maybe what are some things that you shouldn't do with it? Uh, I guess in regards to studying. I'm also gonna go ahead and do a quick demo. I'm just gonna do a screen share on my phone and walk you guys through exactly what prompts I feed the snap, or I gave it away there. I use the Snapchat AI, but any AI if you do, I'm sure these prompts will work. So getting into it, what are some awesome applications for using artificial intelligence to study? Number one on the list, the thing that I have been using I guess my, my AI on Snapchat for is practice questions. Not only is it like a near infinite pool of practice questions just at your fingertips, it's also entirely seamless. Now I am, I'm 19, I am Gen Z, so I'm on Snapchat pretty frequently and having a tool right on a social media platform, you're already on probably too much is great because you can be, I guess, distracted by social media and still be studying on social media, which I think is pretty cool. And you guys will get a better, I guess, feel for what I'm talking about with the UI of Snapchat, AI, and what prompts I feed it and all that later. But practice questions are like awesome. It's just instant. If you want a practice question, maybe you have a question about for me, it would be like databases, cloud databases. You ask it to give you a specifically database related AWS cloud practitioner practice question, and it'll spit it out like that. It's awesome. But those that's the main positive I've realized from using this is just on-demand practice questions whenever you want. If you get the question wrong, it also does explain why it's wrong. It doesn't just say, oh, you're incorrect. So. That's a huge bonus as well. So let's move on to some things that maybe are best suited for books and full length video courses. On to maybe how you shouldn't treat your little AI friend helping you study is having it teach you like entire domains of exams. Now, the AI is awesome. It's very, very good. However, these video courses and books especially are especially curated for this exam. If you ask your AI to explain spanning tree protocol, it might give you an awesome rundown of what it is, what it's used for, but maybe it doesn't go into how uh, spanning tree costs are calculated and how I guess some of the more nitty gritty interactions happen. So I don't think you should use AI to study domains of exams, like giant topics. But if you have a real specific question or you want to practice question, that's where I think AI really shines. Like maybe, maybe you forgot how OSPF cost works. You can go and ask whichever AI you use, explain it to me. And I'll just shoot you back like a quick paragraph, like instantly explaining exactly what you want to know. So I think that's been super fun. I have been, I guess, really loving it so far. And I'll probably keep you guys posted on, I guess, things I like, things I don't like as I continue to use it more. I have only been using it for a few days now. But with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump to a demonstration. I'm sorry, it's going to flip to portrait mode uh, on the video. But here we go. So here we are in Snapchat. This is my little AI here. And we're going to go ahead and prompt it with a question. This one states, can you ask a difficult AWS CLF C01 multiple choice practice question, but not give me the answer until I say so? It'll think for a moment and it will reply with, sure, here's a challenging practice question for you. Which AWS service allows you to automate the deployment, scaling, and management of applications? We know it's not EC2, we know it's not Lambda, and we know it's not ECS, so I said AWS Elastic Beanstalk. As we know, EC2 and Lambda are compute functions and ECS is storage, but 
It will respond with, congratulations, you did a good job, you got the question right, and it also will tell you why you got it right. So that's just a quick demo. Back to the video. So, welcome back. What'd you think? That was just a quick demo of me using my Snapchat AI to shoot me out a cloud practitioner practice exam. So I just wanted to throw that in there, show you guys kind of exactly how it works, but that's all I have for you this week. If you have any comments, suggestions, worries about AI, feel free to drop them below. As you guys know, I do read and try to respond to every single comment you guys leave. If you have video suggestions, always leave those. If you have questions about Network Plus, Cloud Practitioner, CCNA, all of those things, always drop those. I love responding to the questions like that. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Take it easy.